So I got the Apple Watch Series 4. I was pretty impressed. So in this video, we're gonna be going over the Apple Watch Series 4, going over some of the new features, as well as if you should upgrade or not. And don't worry, I will be making a fitness-based video very soon because apparently Apple's saying this is one of the best fitness watches out there. So you know I gotta do a review on the fitness aspect. And to be honest with you, I'm not gonna lie. Like this Apple Watch Series 4, they did pretty good. Apple, you've done good. Some of the best new features that I love on the Apple Watch Series 4 are, of course, the bigger screen size. So instead of the biggest one being 42 millimeters, this one is now 44 millimeters. So you get a lot more screen space, and as well as it's a little bit flatter, so it kind of fits on the hand a lot better. Um, so for me, personally, I love having the big screen to see notifications, such as you can see in emails, you can actually see full emails, you can see full text messages. Pictures are a lot bigger, and what's really cool as well is that if you open up a link, you can actually get a little bit of web browsing features. So that's pretty cool. The second thing is the watch faces. Some of them come up with the new Apple Watch uh, iOS, Watch OS 5.1, whatever the software is called. They work better on the Series 4 because they're meant for it and they can actually use the whole screen real estate. So at least for the Nike version, they have some really cool new watch faces. And this is like the, like the whole red with the white, which is the one that I really love. But then it also got different colors like stone. And personally, I love to match the Apple Watch faces and bands with my outfits. You know, I gotta look fresh. And then of course, the final thing is the updated heart rate sensor. I think they did a great job on upgrading this and then now even has a feature coming out sometime in the winter time of the ECG, which is kind of crazy. That's that, you know, up and down heart rate sensor thing. And I think that's just gonna be useful to see your different heart rhythms and seeing, making sure that your heart rhythm is, you know, normal. So why did I upgrade to the Apple Watch Series 4? Well, I had the Apple Watch Series 3. I bought it last December in 2017 as a Christmas gift to myself. And it was actually pretty cool. I really liked it. I actually bought the first one. If you watch my Apple Watch video, you can go ahead and check it up right here. But they kind of did a review over the Apple Watch Series 3 and if it was good for fitness. And it actually did pretty well. Then of course, September came around the big conference came of Apple Watch Series 4 and of course my ears perked up so I was like I gotta check out the Apple Watch Series 4 I gotta see what the whole hype is all about no pun intended so I got it and not gonna lie I'm pretty happy I've had it for about a month or so and not gonna lie it's been an amazing device now if you're thinking about if you should get one yourself or you should give it as a gift I want you to keep a few things in mind now what I usually use the Apple Watch for is for a few things the first thing is of course notifications so when I'm at work I don't like to always just have my phone up so I would like to kind of see you know text notifications email notifications and see if they're really that important for me to take out my phone and actually look through them and with that big screen it's great to see a whole notification without having to be like check your phone to see more so that was a really convenient thing the second thing I like doing is controlling my music when I'm commuting to work or when I'm in the subway and everything's kind of tight I don't want to always just bring up my phone and try to you know change the song I can actually just do it on my watch using my hands are full too so it's just easier to just take my finger say next song or if I'm listening to a podcast I can rewind 15 or 30 seconds um, if I miss something important so I'll make sure that I can listen listen to the podcast fully and it's just a really good feature to be able to control your music control what you're listening to which is on your wrist rather than take out your whole phone just to do one little thing the third thing I use it for is activity tracking of course you know me being the fitness nut that I am I do like to track certain things like how many times I'm standing throughout the day how many active calories I'm burning when I'm exercising, keeping track of how many calories I've burned. And then of course, my sleep, I use a sleep app called Auto Sleep and it's been amazing. Great to really see and evaluate my quality of sleep, my deep sleep, and how long I've been sleeping, make sure I stick to those goals. The next thing I use it for is actually kind of funny. It's just something because I guess I'm a little bit lazy sometimes, but I actually do Hey Siri a lot, where I'll be like, what are the sports scores of the Bulls game or the Saints game? Or I'll say like, what's three times nine if I forget it? So using the Hey Siri feature is actually pretty cool. And then of course, I use it like a normal watch. I use it to tell time. I use it as a timer or stopwatch if I'm doing abs or if I'm cooking dinner or meal prepping. I like to make sure that if I put something in the stove that I can set a timer and it'll ring on my actual wrist. And then, you know, if somebody calls me, like my mom, if I am meal prepping, what's really cool is I can talk to her while I'm making my food. And it's just super convenient just to have 
have it on my wrist rather than putting headphones in or having my phone up to my ear doing this whole little thing, cooking and just whatever. It's just easier to just to talk like this and she can hear me well. They've never, she's never had an issue hearing me from that end as well. So I think that the calling feature is actually really good. So you're probably wondering now, okay, I hear all these features, should I get one? Should I upgrade or should I give it as a gift? And I want you to take a few of these things in mind. If you've never had an Apple Watch before, and you listen to some of those things that I use the Apple Watch for, and you're like, okay, I, I could see myself doing that, then I say, you might as well just get the Apple Watch Series 4. It's the latest and greatest. All the updates are coming up right now for it. You might as well get it, try it and see if you like it. Again, the good thing about if you get it from Apple, you have 14 days to return it. So if you really don't really like it after those 10 days, 11 days, you can always return it and be within that time period. Now, if you have the Apple Watch Series 1 or Series 2, I would say think about how much you actually use your Apple Watch. So for example, my girlfriend has the Apple Watch, I think it's like Series 1, and she doesn't really use it that much. Like in fact, there's most of the time where it's just like on the charger. So that's you where like I literally, my Apple Watch is never charged, I never put it on. Don't get the Series 4, it would be a waste of money. Just because you get it, it's not gonna change your behavior or habit of using it. So if you do find yourself not using it, don't bother. If you are seeing yourself saying, hey, it's starting to get a little bit slow, then you might as well upgrade. Now, if you have the Series 3, if you have the Series 3, to be honest with you, unless you're a very big tech person like me and you're obsessed with tech, I would say leave it alone, don't worry about it. And the reason being is because of the fact that there's not so much to upgrade for. The Series 3 is still good. It's still operating off the latest like technology. I would just keep the Series 3, save your money, and maybe wait to Series 5, when the, where they probably will do something super major to it. And if there's one piece of advice that I can give you before deciding if you should get one, do not get the LTE version. The reason why I say that is because I have the LTE version, and I got it because I was being impatient, but it is, to me, it is not worth it at all to get the LTE version. There was maybe once or twice the time where I was able to bring my Apple Watch and I didn't bring my phone. And that was because I was purposely trying to use my Apple Watch without my phone. So other than that, I always have my phone on me. And you can still get calls if you're connected to your Wi-Fi. So if you're in your house and you're away from your phone, but you're connected to the Wi-Fi, you can still accept calls. So it's just $150 just wasting away. So please do not get the LTE version. I promise you're not gonna need it. You're not gonna use it. I don't need it or use it. So with all that in mind, are you deciding to get the Apple Watch Series 4? Let me know in the comments box below and let me know if there's any other type of reviews or questions that you may have as well. I'd be happy to answer them. I hope this video was super helpful for you. If it was, go ahead and drop it a like and I'll catch y'all later. You already know, embrace the hype. Woo!